players. So I thought it would be a good idea to share what I eat kind of in a day where I haven't done the preparation required. Um, because I see a lot of videos out there and they're sharing like from, you know, bodybuilders or people who do fitness full time and they have all the time in the world to go to the shops and they've been fully prepared. But you know, this is the end of the week. I've run out of most of my stuff. I haven't got a prepped lunch, which I like to have ready for me. So what do I actually eat? Um, so first things that I kind of focus on is overall, like I do intermittent fasting. I do a video on that, sharing why I actually do that. Um, main reason for it is that the idea is that you don't eat for a certain amount of time and then you eat in a shorter window. And I find if I do that, I've got less opportunity to eat over my calorie intake. And at the moment I am on a cut, which means that I am eating less than my maintenance calories. Um, and I'll do another video sharing how to actually calculate that. Playing around with it and what that means for me is I eat around 1900 calories in a day while I'm trying to cut weight. Um, so what that will look like is I'll have a protein shake, so that gets my, helps me get my protein requirements. I will have a lunch, which is kind of like a salad bowl. Basic principle there is I try and do, you know, well, actually when I've prepped, I'll have a salad bowl. Today, I'll probably just eat leftovers. Um, probably something like noodles or I'll make a wrap. Um, but yeah, as long as there's some kind of like protein source, like chickpeas or something like that, tofu, um, a carb source, starchy carbs, some kind of like potato, um, and other leafy green veggies. Um, and some kind of nice sauce, like I'm a hummus fiend, so I'll put that on there. Um, just a little bit. Um, then I'll hit my mark. That will usually, usually shakes about 400 cal. Um, usually a salad bowl would be another 400 cal. It gives me about 1100 left over. Um, then I know dinner will be about another 400 cal, the way I build it. Um, so tonight's gonna be like some kind of like fake meat. Um, so yeah, I'm eating vegan. But if you want, you just substitute it with some kind of like actual meat that fits the calorie requirement. Um, there'll be that, and then a portion of the plate will be um, like sweet potato or something like that. I love sweet potato. <laughs> Doggy. Um, sorry. And then another third, I'm going to play around with some steamed green veg. The green veg is quite good for you for a number of reasons. And, and then after that, so I know after my breakfast shake, lunch, and dinner, about 800 calories remaining. So I like to make protein oats usually. That's, it's about 400 calories. I chuck a banana on top um, and I'll kind of share what I put in that. Um, that gives me about 500 left over. And then I will usually do something like have some rye crackers with a Marmite and avocado. I'm using Marmite because I run out of Vegemite. Come at me. Um, and that's quite good because it's really filling. It's got a carb, a bit of protein, and some healthy fats, and, and that's like 180 cows. Um, and it's really filling. Um, and then I've, after that, I've got about 300 left to play with. I forgot to add that I usually wake up and I'll have an apple, a um, small apple, it's about 80. It's just about what you're allowed to have while still fasting. Um, uh, black coffee, that's like two calories or something. Um, so that will leave me with about 200 calories and then yeah I'll just play around something will find its way into my mouth I'm sure um, and that will get me to my limit so I'll share a few of the foods that I've eaten um, you know like I'm not perfect things have to taste good for me so I'll probably eat a little bit more fat than I should and got a bit of a sweet tiny bit of a sweet tooth so I put a bit of sugar in that as well